Hello everyone and welcome to part B of Minecraft and Maya, how to build a chest. My name is Kasanis. In the last episode we took a look at modeling the chest. Very, very straightforward. We actually built an interior of the chest. We built the actual chest, the latch itself. The next thing we're going to do is texture the chest. And you guys have done this before. So I'm only going to show you very particular things in order to do this properly. Because it's going to be ex done exactly the same way as you did the other texturing. So, let me just separate this for now. What we're going to do, I'll do one face, I'll actually do the bottom face right here. Um, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to create our texture. And to do so, we're going to go to Window, and we're going to say Rendering Editors, and we're going to say Hyper Shader. And it's going to bring up, oh, I have it really big on this other screen, so let me just bring it over here. It's going to bring up this new window. There, I'll make it a little smaller. Make this a little smaller too. Okay, perfect. It's going to bring up this new window, the Hyper Shader. To cr to, for a Hyper Shader, we're going to use we're going to use the Lambert to make a new texture. So cl click on Lambert, bam, just like that. And let's rename this immediately to Chest Texture, just like that. OK, the next thing you guys are going to do is you're going to double click on here, and it's going to bring up a new window over here. This is actually your at attribute editor for this chest texture. And you're going to click on Color, this little box on the end, bam, just like that. And you're going to say File. And what you're going to do is you're going to find a file. It's going to be here. It's going to bring up a new window. I clicked on this little file folder right there. It's going to bring up a new window. And you're going to come in here and you're going to find in here chest texture. There we go. Open. OK. So that's our new chest texture. And now I'm going to click on this box just like that. I'm going to bring the hypershade back up that I just closed just like that. I'm going to hold down my right mouse button over here, right down, my mouse button down. I'm going to say assign material to selection. Now, just like always, this thing's turned a slightly different gray. Make sure you guys go into your shading options and turn on hardware texturing. Turn it on. It's going to look like this. Make sure you go into hardware texturing, the little box on the end, and make sure that it's, it's unfiltered here and apply. And that's going to make sure everything is not blurry and looks nice and sharp, just like in the FAQ. I keep repeating this over and over again to make sure everyone knows it. OK, next thing we're going to do is we're going to assign the faces the textures. I'm only going to do the front face of this, and then I'm going to do the, uh, then I'll show you how to do the interior, and then you guys will do the rest of it as a, as a exercise for your own. So right click, hold down, and say faces, and then start clicking everything that you think is the front face of this box. So I think it's going to be this and this corner and all the way around, just like this, all the way around. I'm selecting everything I think is part of the front of this box. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, this guy, this guy, this guy. Selecting it all. Selecting it all. Bam, 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 bam. All the way around. Make sure you get it all, because you want to make sure you only do this once. So there we go, last little bit right here. Bam, just like that. So that is my entire front of my box. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say Create UVs. I'm going to go to Planar Mapping, and I'm going to make sure that I have, in this case, my X, my sorry, my Z axis um, selected. Project. That's going to make this new texture appear on there. I'm next going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to Window, Window right here, and I'm going to find my UV Texture Editor, my UV Texture Editor right here. Bam, and that's going to bring up a new window that looks like this. Okay, and that's going to have my faces in it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink these down, shrink this down, so that it fits on the front of this texture right here. Shrink it down. Now, some of you have asked me, oh, if this is blurry, what do I do? Right here under Image, you can say Display Unfiltered, and the image in here will not be blurry either. So make sure you guys do that. I'm going to shrink this down, move it. This takes a little bit of time. It always does. You want to make sure you get it right so everything looks really good in your animation. Shrink it down. Align. Shrink it down a bit. Align. Just like that. Uh, like that. Just like that. Now if we take a look at the front of our box, bam, it is colored appropriately. OK. Normally, now you guys are going to do all the rest of the sides yourself. For the top of the box, I'm going to do it slightly different. Here's what I want to do for the top of the box. I'm only going to select the things that I think are the top. So this, 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 all the way around this entire area here. Bam, 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 all the way around. Anything that I think is the top of the box, just like you did a minute ago uh, for the side. Bam, I'm going to select this and this and this as well. And this and this and this and this. 
and this. And the last thing I'm going to select is down here in the bottom. I'm going to select the bottom face, and I'm holding shift every time I select. Bang, bang, bang. I'm only going to select the bottom face. I'm not going to select the interior of the sides. Like I'm not going to select these areas here. I'm only going to select all on the bottom when I actually do this one. The sides of this box, you're going to have to do separately. You're going to have to do the sides separately um, using the same technique we use in the front to make sure that it looks good on the inside. If you don't, if you try and do the inside all at once, it's not going to look good. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to say create UVs, planar mapping. I'm going to go from the Y axis and I'm going to apply that. Shut this. And that's going to immediately do this. And I'm just going to realign like we did last time. UV texture editor and realign. Okay, just like this. Okay, like that. Okay, all lined up. You want to get this as close as you can to make sure that the box interior. Oops, I'm going all wrong. I'm going to make this a little lower. Go to the right to the edges. Just like that. Extend it out just like that. And that is going to be my interior of the box. Now you have to do the sides, like I said, so that's done. If I take a look in here, the sides are not done yet. They're not done appropriately, but the top and the bottom is. You want to make sure the sides are done in black. Okay, I'm going to cut the video off right here for a minute, let you guys take a second and finish it up, and when I come back, my box will be completely textured. Talk to you all very soon. Okay, everybody, we are back, and my chest is completely textured. You can see the inside and the outside of both the top and the bottom, and that's exactly what you want to do to make sure that when this thing opens up, it looks awesome. The last thing we're going to have to do is create a control structure uh, and a hierarchy. So let's do so right now. We're going to start off. Let's actually just put this thing here back at zero, zero. Boom, boom, boom. The first thing you're going to do actually is make sure, go into panels and go into your front view. And we're going to want to make sure that this thing, that each box is moved up so that it is at its zero position. This is giving my zero position right here. So I'm just going to put it at five because it's 10 tall in total, so 5 will put it right at 0. And this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move it, oops, not that thing, this thing. We're going to move up so it's right at 0, 0. So it looks like it's going to be at 2.25. And that's 0, 0. Perfect. Perfect. OK. After that's done, we're going to create a control system. Let's do so. To do so, we're going to do it exactly like we've done in the past. Nothing new here. We're going to go into Create, and we're going to say Create NURBS Primitives, and we're going to say Circle, and we're going to create it. And I'm going to make it a little bigger. Let's make it uh, scale it up to 10, just like that. And we're going to make this the control structure for the base. So let's call this the CNT underscore God node um, uh, bottom, let's call it. No, let's just call it chest. Chest. Because this is going to be the god node for the entire thing. And let's square it off. I'm just going to make it a little square here. And I'm going to make the bottom ones square, and the top ones will leave round. And that way we can identify when we're animating. So just grab, grab, and grab right here. All I did is I held down my right mouse button, and I selected control vertices. And now I'm just going to scale them out. Uh, like this, scale them out a bit, kind of round, like kind of square this off. So that way it'll look a little different than the top controls. So just like that, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be good. Now I'm going to right click, I'm going to say object mode, and I'm going to select this guy again. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller actually. Let's uh, just try scaling down a little bit to maybe, let's make it nine. Yeah, that's good. Um, now I'm going to take this guy here, I'm going to hold him down, I'm going to say object mode, bam, select it, and I'm going to say edit, duplicate just like that. That's going to make a second of those and I'm going to go panels orthographic front again and I'm going to move the second one about midway. Uh, maybe right about maybe right about here. And we're going to call this one here CNT um, center of gravity cog chest. So that's going to be the center of gravity for the entire chest. Perfect. And now I'm going to say for both of these I'm going to say I'm going to shift select this guy down here Bam, I'm going to say modify freeze transformation so those are zeroed out. Perfect. All right, next thing I'm going to do, open up my outliner. Boom, boom, right here. And we're going to make our first basic hierarchy. So I'm going to take the box bottom. I don't know why I called it box and not chest, but I did. Box bottom, and I'm going to drag it into the center of gravity just like that. And then I'm going to take the center of gravity, and I'm going to drag it up into the control god node. And now, whenever I move this around, I move around my entire base. Perfect, exactly what I want. We're going to do the same thing with our top here. So let's put this back at zero. 
and let's actually say modify freeze transformations on this guy so everything's frozen out perfect and we're gonna do the same thing create nerves primitive uh, nerves primitive circle and we know 10 is a good size so let's make it 10 bang 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 and right there at the bottom exactly where we want it let's change the name CNT underscore uh, let's call this one here God um, chest top okay and let's in turn again modify freeze transformations modify freeze transformations and let's copy it edit duplicate like we did last time bam and we're gonna make a center of gravity for the lid and that way in case you want your character to throw the lid off maybe he throws it aside or something like that you can do so so let's call this one here C O G chest top just like that let's take a look in this mode here perfect perfect and we will freeze modif we will modify freeze transformations bang now there's one last thing I want to do for this control structure to make this thing work appropriately and that last thing is to create one more control and because we're going to want to open up the box lid right we're going to open the top up so oops what did I just do I don't know we're going to go to create and we're going to go to nerves primitive and we're going to say circle one last time and I'm going to drag it out front just like that so I can see it and I'm going to rotate it in the uh, Z or Z oops in the Z axis make it rotate at 90 and let's make it uh, 8 as a guess is that big too big maybe that's too big let's make it six six just like that okay now this is going to be the control that the animator is going to use to open and close the lid so to do so I'm just going to make I'm going to change a little tiny bit here um, just to make it look a little more attractive I'm going to go control vertices I'm holding down the right mouse button control vertices and I'm just going to select uh, this guy let's say and I'm going to drag him in and I'm going to select uh, this one and this one let's see how this looks Bam, I'm holding shift and I'm selecting and I'm going to drag it in maybe do about there and let's move this guy in a little farther just like that so maybe a little boomerang look that's pretty cool and I'm gonna say object mode and I'm gonna call this thing here uh, CNT underscore uh, chest top open open chest top open perfect and I'm gonna look at it from the side view so I'm gonna go orthographic side just like this and let's let's move this in place let's say let's say right about right about there is probably pretty good just out in front of our other controls just like that now there's one last thing we have to do and I'm gonna do this from the top because it's gonna be easier I'm gonna go panels orthographic top and with my control the opening open control selected I'm going to hit insert just like that boom and I'm going to drag this this newly created uh, thing here to the very back. Now basically what I did in doing so, the insert button allows me to change the pivot point of this of this control. And I'm going to hit insert again to turn it off. There we go. Insert. So you can see that right now the pivot point for this control is way back there. And this is why we want to do that. Watch what happens now when I click on this and I wrote, uh, nothing's going to happen right now actually except set up the hierarchy. <laughs> we'll set up the hierarchy first and then I'll show you why I did that. So, setting up the hierarchy for the top of the box, very simple. Grab your box top, middle mouse button, drag it into the chest top open, boom. Select chest top open and middle mouse drag it into the cog, let it go. Select the cog, drag the cog into the god node for the chest top. And finally, expand this and take this entire thing, the god chest top, and drag it into the cog of the actual chest itself bam just like that now I kind of did this in the wrong order and I'll show you why in one second because when I move this when I actually move this in here the entire thing is gonna move now so let's just zero this out zero and now we're gonna have to modify this stuff and put it in position so I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna put this at zero I guess zero and then I'm gonna go up to the height was 10 just like that and that is now in the right position and I'm gonna select my this is my chest top right here the god, the god node for the chest top and I'm gonna say modify freeze transformations now this is all done is this one all done everything's all done I can move this guy around now just like this the whole thing moves as well with that chest open 
control, this one right here, because we actually changed the pivot point, now when I rotate it, it's going to rotate like that and allow me to open my chest. Nom, 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 nom. So everybody, that takes us to the end of this episode. When you are done, if you've done everything appropriately, properly, I'm going to actually lower this down a little bit because it's a little bit of a space in there, which I don't like. If you've done everything properly, then what you've got yourself is a working chest that you can toss into any animation, just like that, and modify freeze transformations again. You've got yourself a working chest now, and you can toss this into your animations, have your characters go through the chest, you know, pack it full of fun stuff. Look at that. Everything worked out great. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you let me know with a comment. Any questions, leave them in the comments as well. If you really feel like helping me out, then give me a like. You know, it makes me feel good. It gives me energy to keep going. And finally, take a few seconds and subscribe. You guys make me feel really great. You guys give me a lot of great comments and make me feel really good about doing this stuff. Thank you so much. Everyone, have yourselves a wonderful day.